So we will start to counsel with Bill 15 229, Mr. Lawrence. This will be a second read. Thank you, Mr. President. I move that Bill 15 229 be placed upon the floor for a second read. Clerk will read Bill 15 229. Oh, I'm sorry. Adopting and enacting the Mansfield Home Value and Family Protection Act as Section 765.01 of the Mansfield Codified Ordinances as adopted to prohibit certain business activities in residential districts and thereby protect the citizens of Mansfield. Is there any discussion on Bill 15 229? Hearing none. Uh Mr. President, can I make a motion to bring this forward for final passage tonight? If so, be I make that motion. Okay, the motion has been made. Is there a second? Second. Been moved and seconded that we proceed to vote on Bill 15 229, waiving further reading. Um, council will cast on, I'm sorry, count. Council will vote on the motion electronically. Motion passes five to three. Okay. Motion has been made and passed to proceed. Now, is there any other further discussion? So it, now it's up for a vote. <clears throat> Um, is there any further discussion on 15-229 since it's now been brought up for a final vote? Okay. Mr. Rock. I just was wanting a question to the law director. I mean, we've been brought up that we should have more of a comprehensive bill here. And uh, why should we pass this, this watered-down version tonight? Is there some intimate danger that we should be aware of that could happen within, say, the next two weeks, next four weeks, that we couldn't wait for a more comprehensive bill to uh, cover everything? Well, my response to that is that the uh, that no one in the city presently has any protection, and it doesn't make sense not to provide immediate protection for all those that are in the uh, solely the residential areas, as have I indicated. The development and the research and the analysis and the drafting of these other zoned areas is more complex. It has to be done more carefully because uh, it's a mixed, uh, those are mixed zones of business and of residential. Uh, secondly, uh, again, it's very clear that if there's any damage to any homes in our community, there is no insurance that covers for any contamination of our, our uh, properties. There is no insurance available to pay for any uh, seismic events. Uh, I can only say that uh, when you have a fire on three sides, you try to fight that fire with on one side with everything you have, and then you keep fighting later. But unless it's done with quality and done with a degree of caution, legislation becomes more vulnerable. We have an expression in the law that Basically, when you rush to do things, uh, you can make mistakes. This piece of legislation, in my opinion, is pristine, clear legislation. And I believe strongly it would pass the muster of the Ohio Supreme Court. Uh, I uh, share with you uh, your concern for these other zoned areas, but I can assure you I'm going to move, move full speed ahead with those other areas and to protect them equally in the same manner that you do. But let's protect someone now, and then we'll continue to try to protect all the other citizens uh, in our city. So uh, we have no insurance protection. I, I passed out uh, this, uh, this uh, recent article in terms of that the threat of seismic events is so so uh, serious that out in Oklahoma, where we have the largest oil storage uh, 
area in the country. It's there uh, to uh, preserve uh, our oil in the case of national emergency. And now the federal government is so concerned that they're saying that the risk of seismic events is a greater threat to that national security oil reserve than terrorism. So I would just plead with you, I can assure you, I give you my word, uh, Mr. Rock, that we would proceed with uh, trying to protect all the other neighborhoods as quickly as possible. But uh, I'm asking council to work as a team and to demonstrate that uh, none of us are perfect, but boy, when it comes to uh, protecting our citizens, we're all on the same team. And let's protect as many of them as we can and to do it right away. Any other questions, discussion? Comment. I, I would just echo what, what the uh, law director just stated. Any time council can represent and do something to benefit their citizens, I don't know why we would hesitate. But if we all have one vote, so vote your conscience and let's get it, let's move forward. Thank you. Mr. Hill? Well, it just seems all the time we've got this big fear that we've never had before, and now it's election night, and we have to pass this bill tonight instead of having three readings like you normally have unless it's really an emergency. And uh, it just hasn't come across as that type of a piece of legislation. May I respond to that? The, Briefly. Um, the, the polls closed at 7.30. The election's over. Politics had nothing to do with this. And I think that, I think that the... The risk that we've been talking about has existed uh, for a long period of time. However, in the last uh, year, it's only been in 2015 that the federal government for the first time came out and conclusively established that injection wells, not cracking wells, but injection wells indisputably cause seismic events. We didn't know that until the federal government, what we suspected has now been established indisputably by the federal government and the National Geological Society. This bill has nothing to do with politics. It's, it has everything to do with providing immediate protection. I respect you, and I really appreciate the work you're doing on this and to protect the citizens of the community. What was just kind of irritating 10 days ago to get a political piece of literature from you stating that this is legislation that needed to be passed quickly. And it was just a political no, that wasn't political. What was political was Mr. Rainey uh, sending that, me a private email saying, let's, 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 you know, let's call her a minute. I call, call for the vote. vote. Yeah, that's fine. Do I need to make that motion, sir? Huh? It's, it's up for final vote. Yeah. Council will cast their vote for final passage of Bill 15-229. Bill passes 5-3. to three.